Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I pray you're doing well wherever you are. I'm sending you the purest, purest of love and light. Remember, God is for you because he's for you. Who can be against you? We are on top and we're going higher. And you just need to know that you're highly, highly, highly protected. The weapons may form, but they cannot. They will not prosper. That's what God said, and I believe it. He's not a God that he should lie, and so I'm standing on his word. I'm standing on his promises. So making money moves, making boss moves. So again, for 2024, a lot of you are thinking about what you can do to make life different. Some of you are thinking about pursuing having your own businesses. Some of you already have your businesses. How can you make it better? How can we make it better? How can we improve? And we're just gonna look at a few um, cards, a few messages here to see what divine, what God has in store for us. So at the back of this deck, it says discipline. So a lot of you, you're thinking either you are more disciplined or we're thinking we need to be more disciplined, more focused, more consistent in your goals and whatever it is that you, you plan to do. And when I broke the deck in half, it said, be expected to teach. So some of you, you are moving in a time a season where you will be expected to teach maybe be a mentor a motivational speaker as well so that's that's awesome mm, i love this Ooh, look you can smile again you can smile again so for a lot of you a lot of us it's been like drought in our lives in your life and it's like your smile is coming back around for a long time. Just the the hectic, the busyness of life, uh, the spiritual warfares, the battles, fighting while you're working, is just overbearing. And now for a lot of you, that frown is turning upside down. I love that for you. Look. Things are turning around. Things are turning around for you. He's turning it around for you. So whether this is in your business, we're talking about business and career in your boss move, your boss in making boss moves, things are turning around. So if you if you're a business owner, things are turning around. If you're working for a company, things are turning around. God is making a shift. He's he's removing all the toxic energies, the toxic people. I mean, you're just going to see people around your life. You, you look around and you don't even see them anymore because this is time for you. This is your time now. And God is doing everything possible to remove every stumbling block and every blockages from out of your way. Yeah, this is a part of your legacy or your destiny. So... With you being able to smile again, things turning around for you, all of this, everything that you went through, the trials, the ups and downs, I can't make it up at the back here. It says, this is your time. This is your time. This is your time. You're going to smile again. I love this for you. You can smile again. It's like for a lot of you, you, you're going to feel very proud that you, you stuck it out, that you persevere, that you were resilient in the face of fear. You still, you kept it pushing. Look, it says, if you're going to break the rule, do it yourself. It's like, if you have your own business, you never allow your workers to see you break the rules is like, God forbid, if you have to break a rule, you do it yourself because the last thing you want is for anybody to have secrets for you. Because then that means they're going to blackmail you. They're going to have this thing over your head, this secret. And this is like one of those things that is like one of my pet peeve. I don't like people to have anything over me. 
So this is why nobody knows my story better than I do. And I have no problem sharing it or opening up with however God leads me and he wants to. But do not let, it's like the Bible said, do not let your right hand know what your left hand know. Don't allow anybody, even if you're working in a company, God forbid if you are doing, if you have to do anything, and I pray you don't have to, but if you do, you don't allow anybody else to know because as, as long as another person knows about it, it's no longer a secret. It's no longer a secret. Wow. And I honestly, I did not look down at this card, but both of them came out together. Allow no one to have secrets for you. Allow no one to have secrets for you. Because if they have secrets for you, then that's when they start uh, to behave as if you are on the same level. It's like you can't tell me anything. Even if you are their supervisor, you're their boss. It's like you can't tell me anything. They, they are disrespectful now. So it's important to hold yourself with such integrity, with honesty, morals, ethics, values, that you don't allow people to have secrets for you. Because then when you want to release them, it's very hard. Because then it's like they have this thing like a little carrot dangling over your head. You don't want that. Wow, I can't make this up. Expect jealousy, envy, and hate. So when you're starting your business, when you have a business, if you're planning to start a business, even in your daily 9 to 5, 7 to 3.30, whatever your ship, your schedule is, or are, some of you may have more than one jobs as well, expect this. This comes with the territory and this is right under, this is a part of your legacy, your destiny. A lot of people, they're going to hate the fact that you're moving in your destiny, in your destiny, in your divine calling and in your purpose. Again, they would not never ever make the sacrifices that you have made or you will make but yet still they're jealous they're envious again you're you're when you have your own business you're you're the last one to go to bed the first one up you work endless uh, endless hours because it's your business it's your art it's your it's your passion and people don't see the blood sweat and the tears that you pour into it but of course the moment that you start to smile again is um they want to wipe that smile off your face they want to wreak um work magic and spell and evil eye and and all of this stuff on you because now you're reaping the fruits of your labor so this is just for you to amp up your protection pray Keep God in front of what you're doing. Pray over your business consistently. Even if you're working for a company, you pray in your work in your workspace because I'm telling you, the same people you're smiling with, they are the ones who want to take your place. They want to take your position. They are your rival. They're right underneath your nose. So just expect that it comes with the territory. But are you going to let that stop you? Absolutely not. That sounds like a them problem, a their problem, not your problem. Keep focus. Keep what you're doing because you are going to smile again. You can smile again. It's like your, your morning is now turned to dancing. And this is a part of your legacy. Don't allow anybody to have secrets for you. So that means when it's time for you to fire them, nobody can check you at the door. You maintain your integrity. Keep friends out of your business. Keep friends out of your business. Absolutely. Again, we're talking about jealousy, hatred. Most of the times, the jealousy, the envy, and the hatred, it's coming from the people that we know. They have this saying in my culture, it says, to see somebody and to live with them, it's two different things. Because when you're on the outside, with, with friends and family, it's better if you have a relationship at a distance. 
when people don't know what you have going on in your life because when you take them into your business or into your home when they see how you live and what you have then there goes the jealousy and again people a lot of us including myself with naivety in the past would just think that people would be be happy for you be happy for me but again only to realize they are not it doesn't mean that because your heart your heart is 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 clean your your heart is pure that other people have the same intentions a lot of people and it doesn't matter what the age is age is nothing but a number i have found that out people have insecurities people have inferior complex disorders people don't want to work on themselves yes they may work on themselves on the outside but on the inside they are a wreck they are a junkyard i mean they are a hot mess spewing mess on the inside they are not ready they are not mature they are not healed they are broken it's like dealing with bullies in the schoolyard the first day of school they walk over your shoes is nice and white they step on it for no reason so if it's all possible you'll keep families keep friends out of your business don't bring them close don't bring them on the inside not not all of them are going to be supportive or happy for you and it's like you may say well not everybody is that is true but it's like do you want to find out because a lot of relationships are ruined once families and friends come up close and personal and they see you're surviving you're thriving they want to kill what you have and i'm i'm talking from experience I'm not just talking for clout or blowing hot here. I I see this firsthand. It happened to me. So keep away from that, please, if possible. If possible, keep away from it. If possible, oh gosh, he said, keep friends out of your business. As if possible, do not work with with or employ family members. Yeah, just talk about that too. The NDA Non Disclosure Act. So like most celebrities, people who are VIPs, they have NDA clauses where they have people who work for them where they cannot go out to write a book about their life. They can't disclose what happened inside of their businesses or their companies. They cannot take your ideas to go and start businesses. So these are things that, you know a lot of you a lot of us we don't um enact because we just automatically think that oh nobody's gonna want to steal my idea nobody's going to want to blackmail me down the road or later on but this is something to have and i broke the deck in half it says haters money blocks slow down your business yes so again expect jealousy envy and hate so a lot of you a lot of us we have haters who are trying to create money blocks who are trying to slow down your business but again I love the fact that you can smile again so for a lot of you there's been stagnancy your career slowed business is slow but you're going to find that God is going to turn things around for you and you can smile again because of abundance count your blessings abundance this is this is prosperity abundance all the butterflies things transform change god is causing all things to be made new in your life and for you and a lot of you yes number one count your blessings you need to count your blessings some of you you are counting your blessings right now as well that's beautiful i love that wow dreaming things are turning around for you be aware of your dreams so some of you you may be getting dream i mean dreams where you have signs synchronicities different things spirit is saying be aware of your dreams pay attention to your dreams number 11 so this tells me that god is giving you signs that things are turning around for you you know it's there are different 
animals on this path. Some of you, you may be dreaming about owl, the deer. There is also a fox that's cunning. There is a bear. There's a rabbit. I have fish here. There is a moon. There's a stork. There's a lizard. So I don't know if any of those apply to you, but maybe you need to look it up. But things are turning around for you. Things are turning around. This is a part of your legacy, forgiveness, compassion, and kindness. So a lot of you, it's a part of your legacy. You had to go through this, this hatred. It's like going through a portal in order for you to get to the crown, the throne. It's like you had to go through this adversity. You had to go through oppositions from people around you. It's, it's a path and with the owl that talks about wisdom, you learn. There are a lot of things in the, in, the, in the background there with the moon that you had no idea that was happening, but you need to realize it wasn't happening to you. It was happening for you. It's like you're, it must, it had to happen. It had to happen in order for you to appreciate, see all the stars, you're a magical being. And this is why you, you come up or you, you came up against such, such an opposition from the enemy because they wanted to block, they wanted to stop you. And this is what I'm telling you, the enemy will use anyone and anything to work, to work against you because the goal is to thwart to, to, to take you off of your path so that you don't fulfill your destiny and your legacy there. Connection. Connection. We are all connected. So we are all connected. Again, we see the path there with the birds flying. You are able to breathe life into things. You're a magical being. It's like be careful of the things that you say because it comes to pass. Be careful how you speak to yourself. Be gentle to yourself. Because like as he's blowing, it's like a bird is coming through. So you're manifesting. You're manifesting. So it's like if you're going to break the rules, do it yourself. You know, so you don't want to let anybody else to, to see you do that. You're capable of doing, doing whatever you have to do by yourself. But again, honesty is the best policy. But this card is just there to let you know, do not easily open up to other people because then people will use it against you to blackmail you. Courage, courage in the face of conflict. Allow no one to have secrets for you. Spirit is saying have courage in the face of conflict. Whatever it is that you're facing right now or in the future, you need to stand up. You need to defend yourself. You need to defend your business. Because sometimes, for example, if you need to get some paperwork in the city office, they may be biased. They, are, they let somebody else um, they gave them permission to do something and then you go and apply for the same thing and they look at you and say, oh, we don't do that anymore. You need to stand up. Let me see the rules. When did this stop? Ask questions. Don't just turn around and walk away. Because I'm telling you, the enemy knows what you're working towards and it's like right in your face, right as you walk through that door, the spirit jump into somebody to confuse you. So spirit is saying, fight for what you know is right. Fight for yourself, stand up. And it doesn't mean you're gonna go, you know, rowdy and all of that stuff. I mean, sometimes you really have to put your foot down, but be brave, be fearless. And sometimes you may even have your business with this, allow no one to have secrets for you. You can have your business, you're in your job and people are trying to blackmail you and you know it's not true. Spirit is saying, stand up, be brave, fight for yourself. Don't just roll over because so many people too, they're money hungry. 
and they will try to use any and everything against you just so that they can get some money from you. And the, unfortunately, these are the times when you see the, the real color, the true colors of people when it comes down to money. It's the love of money is the root of all evil. People are ruthless, they are heartless, they are reckless because they are so, so greedy so greedy so desperate a lot of people don't want to work and so they will try to come around you to see what they can do to call the state on you to try to 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 mess with your business spirit is saying stand up stand up don't just roll over and play dead wow mm. i love this this is good Oh, that's too many. Spirit wants to clarify jealousy and beliefs. Okay, direction. This card, they've been coming out but with a lot, but it says direction. Number 10, where are you heading? So 10, endings bring new beginnings. So with the expect jealousy, envy, hate, and the hatred card there, just know that whatever direction, because again, you're on your path, you're on your journey to create this legacy to your destiny. And it doesn't matter where you're heading to, you will have people. It's almost a lot of us, again, because people are so insecure, People don't want to do the, in, the inner work, the healing. It doesn't matter where you go. You're, it's like you're going to rub people the wrong way. But again, it's not your fault. They need to go and work on themselves. It's like you look so handsome, so beautiful. You are royalty. And so you can't help it. People will look at you and have all kind of assumption. Again, it doesn't matter what you're wearing. It could be from the thrift store to, you know, just anything. It's, it's you. It's your vibe. You radiate that. You're glowing. And because these people, they don't want to work on themselves, they are in the background there with the, with the moon trying to attack you, trying to work in, under the moon to create illusions, manipulating energies. So Spirit is just saying, expect that. Expect that. It doesn't matter what you do. Just expect that. Spiritual insight. Keeping friends out of your business. Sacredness. Yes. 32, number 5. See? Working. Spiritual insight. So again, keep friends out of your business. It's like this is an inner knowing that you have. For a lot of you, you will work better with strangers. You'll work better with strangers. It's like they don't look like you. That is like a sacred, a holy. It's like hold your business in a sacred place. Don't just have it open to any and everybody because, again, everything is about energy. And then we have opportunity. Expand your horizons. 25, that's 7, that's God's perfect number. If possible, do not work with or employ family members. Expand your horizon. I'm telling you, a lot of these people, they're not going to want to see you expanding your horizon again all they can remember is the little boy little girl you grow up together you walk barefoot i mean they did it to jesus oh that's is that joseph the carpenter's son it's like you are not capable of working miracles of manifesting of having business of writing a book of being out there, the world knowing your name, they want to hold you back. It is the scrub in a barrel mentality. And with the sacred card, it is to me, it's like just, just hush. 
Sometimes we talk too much. We get excited and we overshare. And it's like the enemy is plotting. I mean, you may not, you may want to think everybody is so holy and pure like you, but again, naivety does not solve anything. For some of us, we, we are so stubborn, so hard-headed. It's like it has to happen before you learn. Instead of just learning from other people and avoiding yourself from going through the same obstacle. So a lot of people, they're not going to be happy for the opportunities that you're having. And this vision to think that you can have, you know, franchise, you can have one business in this county and another one in that town. They don't see the same thing that like you do. Remember Joseph brothers, just because of his dream, what they did to him. They threw him in a pit. They sold him into slavery. It's like, those are his brothers. Hello? <laughs> those are his brothers. And the same thing is happening today. There are people we call brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles, whether they are they are in our bloodline or not, just close family ties, but they, they don't see themselves in certain avenues, areas, doing certain things, being trendsetters and influencers and all of that. So therefore they try to pull you down. It's like, who do you think you are? You are one of us. How dare you try to step outside of the box? Who told you you could? Nobody in our family ever done that before. So you need to keep your ideas to yourself. And keep, keep them out of your life and out of your business as much as possible. Acceptance. Acceptance. The cycle of life. It's like over this NDA. Accept. Accept the cycle of life. That things, it's been happening from the beginning. It's like since Genesis. And it's the same things have been happening. People have been lying, stealing, cheating, loving, blessing. You know, all of these things have been happening. So it's like, why take a chance? Just accept that life is what it is. So let's put this thing in writing. You know, I'm hoping for the best, but I'm planning for the worst. I'm coming in peace, but I prepare for war. There is a, a message, you know, that I, I there is a video that I have about be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. So it's like learn the ways and the tricks of the snakes. It doesn't mean you're going to be a snake, but you're going to study their habits and their tricks so that when they come, you know how to, it's like taking an exam and it asks you, you know, to, it's like a multiple choice and it's asking you what are the characteristics of a snake? Lying, trickery, cold-blooded, not, not an empath, all the above. You check all the above because all applies. So it's the same thing. You're going to know all of these things. It's like you look because the thing is you look at people's face, but you don't know their heart. You don't know their intentions. In the moment people want a job, they will swear on a Bible. They will promise the world to be faithful. But I'm telling you, give them an inch, they take a mile. So it's best to have this done up front. Don't wait until two months or a year into it when they have secrets for you and now you want them to sign that's when they're going to quit and now have that thing dangling over your head so it's best to have certain things done up front before you establish a relationship with this person so they know up front this is a part of the protocol this is how i do things here some of you, some of us, we have brilliant ideas and you have people out there who are ready to steal it, to copycat it, to duplicate it, to replicate it, to manipulate it because again, they're haters. And even though they are not willing to get off their blessed assurance to do anything for themselves, they want to steal your destiny. 
they didn't help you to carry your cross, but they want to, to just hijack your crown. And for a lot of you, a lot of us, wow, at the back it says bravery. Bravery, we have courage there too. Explore your inner wild places. So a lot of you, again, you're the unicorn, you're unique, you stand out, you don't fit in, you're out of this world. You're magical. And this is why they want your life. But I'm telling you, a lot of you, you can smile again. You're winning again. Breakthroughs are happening. Because a lot of you, you experience this. That people are not for you. And so you learn. You're learning. Some of you, you need to learn. Or you're going to learn the hard way. And sometimes, sadly, it pays to learn. And you have to end up paying in the court of law. Quick results. Move swiftly to realize your dreams and adapt to new situations with grace. Quick results. So a lot of you, quick results is happening in your life. Spirit is saying move swiftly to realize your dreams and adapt. Be flexible. Adapt to new situations with grace, with poise, with ease. Because this is you. You deserve this. And we know rabbits multiply. A lot of blessings with rabbits. Quick results coming in for you. Move swiftly, guys. Move on it. Whatever it is. We saw the card there. Spirit is giving you messages in your dreams. Pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities. I love this for you. I love this for us. Until next time, take care. Be blessed.